Welcome back everybody. So we've already done the clutch assist spring removal and it feels great. It's a lot better. But I still don't quite like the feel of it. I feel that the pedal has to come way too far off the floor to engage. So we're going to actually adjust the clutch today. And before we start off, I'm going to actually put you guys down there and you can see where the clutch starts engaging as it is stock and then we're going to adjust it. It's only two bolts, a nut on a bolt. It's two wrenches, should take us less than 10 minutes. Should be quick, easy, and another good change for the car, the drivability of it, the clutch feel and everything. So let's see what it looks like now. Okay, here's stock. You should be able to hear the engine as we slowly let it out okay there it is there it started to engage so all of this play that's damn near half of the play just to get it to start engaging so let's go ahead and adjust this up and hopefully that won't be an issue anymore so we're all on the same page of what we're looking at we see the pedals, okay? This is the clutch. And the actual rod that we're going to be adjusting is not, is not above the clutch pedal here, okay? That is the switch that's for the cruise and if you have your gear shift light on and all of that. The linkage actually goes across up here. So this, this is where we're going to be, specifically this rod right here. I can two hand this, okay. This rod has a 12 millimeter bolt, a little nut on the back of this rod. We're gonna loosen that and we're gonna turn this rod and the goal is to bring the clutch pedal down about an inch where it should be almost even with the brake pedal. And then we're gonna test it out and see how we how we like that. If we need to go in more, we will. So let me break that nut loose up there and turn that rod in. Now that nut's loose. Now we have to turn that rod in. That goes in quite easily, actually. Now keep in mind, you don't want to go down too far or your clutch won't fully disengage. Try that. Mm. And no, that squeaking does not mean my throttle bearing is going out. It needs greased on the. It needs greased. On top of the transmission, I just haven't done it yet. Snug up the lock nut again. Now, here's what the 14 millimeter is gonna be for. And we already touched on it. We have to adjust the switch here for the clutch. 
that shows where the cruise control is to disengage your cruise and everything like that. So we're gonna loosen this 14 on the front. We're gonna screw in the back nut here, push the switch through, and ideally we want the switch to be fully depressed against the clutch. modification to any car you always have to drive it and test it make sure what you did was good go over everything again make sure you didn't leave anything loose and since we're actually messing with clutch throw on this one we definitely need to be taking it around the block a couple of times go through some gears first reverse make sure nothing is grinding make sure nothing is slipping make sure the clutch is engaging all the way disengaging all the way and since we also messed with that switch that shows uh, about our cruise, that uh, tells the car whether the clutch is in or out for cruise control, and if you have your gear selector option switched on, make sure you go through all of that, make sure the gear selector is showing up, test your cruise control, make sure everything is still working, and then you can say that you've completed the mod. Okay. Everything feels right. Engagement is right where it usually is in manual transmission cars that I've driven. My takeoffs are already better. And it actually feels better just shifting it. Like my shifts are just smoother. That, of course, could be due to it's closer to what I usually drive. So I'm not having to relearn the clutch in this car. But my takeoffs seem smoother too. It's not slipping. My little gear selector, whatever you want to call it, display is working the way it should. That just feels better. Just that little bit of change has made a complete difference in this. Completely different car now. Between that spring removal, which we've already done, plug, and adjusting this clutch pedal. It's totally different, totally different car. I highly recommend doing this. It takes less than 10 minutes. Two wrenches. That was a good mod. Definitely worth it. I learned something also, since we're here talking about clutches, shifting, etc. Everybody, including myself, has expressed concern or questions about the shift from first to second gear. Why it clunks, why it's hard to get in gear. I figured out why that is. Since we are all humans, most of us. We don't like change very much. The difference in the gear ratios between first and second gear are about the same as the difference between fourth and sixth. It's a big jump. The car revs so high, they gear first really low and they make a jump into second gear. So obviously this is, this car is designed to be tracked 
or autocrossed. I don't what whatever kind of tracking you want to do. If you're fortunate enough to actually have a racetrack in your area, it's not a drag strip car. It's not a stoplight to stoplight car. It's a this stuff car. Have a spirit to drive on a road to nowhere. You won't have that problem going into second gear if you rev it just a little bit higher. I don't know what everybody else's shifting pattern usually is. When I'm not hot rodding it or being a child, I usually only turn a car 2500 or so and then I shift it. And when you shift this car out of first gear at 2500, the engine RPMs in second gear at that speed are at idle or a little bit below. No wonder it clunks in the second gear. She's got 7,500 revs. Give her a few more. Turn it up to 3,000, 3,500. Presuming everybody lets their car run for a few minutes to let it get oil circulating and get it warmed up a little bit before they go and pull out of their driveway. Turn it up a little bit and it shifts like butter. For example. Can we see that any at all? Thirty-five. Perfect. And then, if you feel so inclined, it's quite simple, and I no longer have concerns now that I understand it. Keep in mind. It may be a Subaru engine. It may be manufactured by Subaru, the whole car, and Subaru plants. There is Toyota in this. The transmission in this car is adapted out of a freaking Lexus. I believe it was the, the IS350. You have to double check me on that. I'm sure somebody will. Now, for the sake of 10 minutes, changing that clutch made all the difference in the world all the difference in the world. Another good mod.